What's up everybody? This is the January 2020 Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Share your Mystery Tackle Box experience. Hashtag Mystery Tackle Box. They're still doing the catch measure win. You get only cool prizes and stuff if you follow these rules. Start off Z-Man Streets Curly Tails. A jerk bait by Strike Pro. A little bitty lipless by Lucky Craft. Perfection lures. Those are pretty cool. A little worm by Carl's Amazing Bait. I think it's called a flicker shad or flicker worm. Yum Minnows by Yum Baits. Rage Menace by Strike King the Ven Rig head by Venom Bates this is the what's in the box the cool sticker I wonder if this is cause Elvis's birthday was this month and then your dibble let's dive into these a little more First off is this little lipless by Lucky Craft. It's got good rattles. It's in like a ghost shad, ghost minnow pattern. I would throw this on six to eight pound fluorocarbon and just yo-yo it. It's not that heavy. Um, it is five thirty seconds of an ounce. So, but this should really be for any any species I mean bass to crappy or if you live up north I guess pike and pickerel will probably eat it too but that noise swimming through the water is going to get you very many bites next up is the strike pro jumper it's tungsten it doesn't have any it's not got a lot of rattle but it's what it, it's got tungsten weight transfer inside, I guess. But I like this size jerk bait probably the best. I throw it on anywhere from 10 to 14 pound fluorocarbon, depending on what I'm around. It is 5 sixteenths of an ounce and pro blue curl, pro, yeah, pro blue color, and it's a suspending jerk bait. Uh, this should get smashed, but don't be afraid to throw this around big fish. Big fish smash these just as well as smaller ones. Next up is some pretty cool innovative terminal tackle. It's a 316 shaky head, but this is stand up. You see these little tentacles or antennas coming off the back? It helps the lure stay straight up whenever it's on solid ground it'll stand up underwater which gives you natural action you don't have to bounce it as much it's really good for shaky head style baits next up is the z-man streaks they have the 10x tough elastics super stretchy so even if something short strikes you and nips on this tail it shouldn't bite it off on like the first bite but this would be a perfect example for that stand up head it'll, when it's underwater it'll just bounce around like a little minnow feeding off the bottom or a little uh, crawdad or something but I like this bigger body profile with the curly tails It the motion underwater actually looks more like fish than the boot tail stuff to me but nothing's wrong with boot tail I fish boot tail a lot too but one thing I like is Z-Man has the Heads cut four swim bait heads to go in or a little underspin or something, so I would not hesitate to throw this around, especially in the spring. Throw it on a little weighted swim bait hook, throw it shallow, it'll be weedless, and just swim it across the bottom in the shallows, and anything that's spawning is going to come out and smash this. 
Next up is the Yum Money Minnow. This is probably one of my favorite baits by them. It has a good profile. They have good action to be a mass produced bait. But this color pattern is one of my favorites. It just it shines. You can use these on A rigs on a little stand up head would be pretty cool, especially bounce it around to the spawn, it would get smashed. I think one of my favorite is throwing this just with a little jig head and slow rolling it. Anything around that's hungry will eat. But the just pretty cool color pattern for a mass produced lure. Next up is the Strike King Rage Menace. The what's in the box card says it's the Rage Crawl, but I know this to be the Menace. When you get it, you want to separate it. That way, it gives off more kicking action. If you want, sometimes I leave them connected. If I'm throwing it, just to slow roll it, and it puts off a movement together instead of separate appendages kind of looks more like a tail but these little stand-up jigs or even the Ven rig heads by Venom Baits would work good on these these are a quarter ounce so it's pretty heavy for that size so it'll drop straight down and stand straight up and the little appendages would just sit there and flap like a crawl in a defensive motion so these are pretty cool. I love these on swim bait trailers. Um, my favorite swim bait happens to be made by Flirt Skirt. They have good action. He custom makes anything you need. He also makes vibrating jigs and other skirts for anything that you need a skirt for. Next up is the Flicker Worm by Catch Co or Carl's Amazing Bait. This is a little, I don't know what you call these. I call them, it's like a squirrel tail worm, but it's a shaky head worm. Either one of those heads that we got in the box would work. It goes, stands up, and just looks like a little worm pilfering off the bottom, trying to find something to snack on. These are all really good finesse style baits. And these colors, this color and the color in the rage are really good in the spring for me. I got coffee scent all over my hand from that rage menace, which is probably my favorite thing for fish is the rage attractant. So I think that's everything. That's what came in the box. You can add stuff on uh, shop Carl's to your box and it'll ship for free so a lot of people have been wondering what happened to me or where I went I found out I had to have a baby on the way so I've been trying to get life in order I already have one child I have a four year old but having another one and losing my hunting room and my man cave and where I did a lot of the filming stuff now I gotta reprocess and regroup and get everything situated, but hopefully I'll be back with a lot more stuff this year. Look at looking at reviewing some hunting stuff and fishing stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Happy 2020, Happy New Year, tight lines.